Copeland to the ozone, leaves left side, Lindbergh fires, save made, Martin centered in front, and they score! They score! Justin Hall from below the goal line, banked it off of Martin. Kamazoo, the fuel ring around to the far side, held in by the wings. They'll send it out for Torek, guides in the middle, redirected, what's it, Garuth, rebound, they score! It's Kovacs from just outside the goal crease. An inadvertent goal horn for the fuel staff here in-house. Kovacs, after an initial save by Carruth with the net empty at the other end, has tied the game at three with just 83 seconds left. Touched on the redirection from Fatorik on the right point by Kovacs, and then he cleans up his own mess. So by the letter of the law, that should be an unassisted goal. 18:37 of the third for Kovac. Pointer in the star for that great piece on Mike Duco. You can check it out online right now. Oh, Carruth falls down. A shot kick. Can you tell the juices are flowing, folks? In a lather here at Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Chance for Kalamazoo waiting and firing Urban through traffic. Carruth a save. Still controls. Out to the right point, Jones. And dances past Nagy. Jones with room. Base the near circle. Stroh back out top. Now a chance for Fritz. And who fires? Rebound. They score! Nick Jones was tamped out on the near post. And he pokes home the rebound. 3-2 Indy. Just tremendous stuff there from Nick Jones. It's he started that play with a nice shake and bake move on the right point, and then after he fed into the corner on a design play set to spring the weak side defenseman Franson, he went straight to the front of the net. That's where you find Pater, and Nick Jones has it. Still alive for Kalamazoo, the other way, short and intent. What a glove save! Forehand, backhand for Catalyst, and ice cold Matt Carruth stones that shorthanded two on one. And this game remains tied at two. That is grand larceny, and frankly, any self respecting jury would find Matt Carruth guilty as charged by friends and tipped on its way to the net. And still controlled by Andy to the left point. This game tied at two. The fuel feeding left circle centered in front. What a save by Martin. Red Bly had a chance from point blank range and a left pad save. Still fought for below the goal line. Bly ridden out into the end wall from the center blue. Franzen off to the left side. Return to him now. And he'll stop to Jones. Jones fanned on a shot. Kicked out by Bly. Franchise on the left side of his offensive zone. Out high slot for Nagy. Fuel players closing in on him. Shot blocked, though. Nagy has his second ever. Now far circle centered in front. They score. One touch from inside the goal crease. Patrick Kennedy has tied the game at two as Carruth overcommits to the left side. 12-13 remaining in the second period. Kennedy touched that one into a completely open net. And Carruth, though, you can't blame the guy. He made the play on the shooter, Caria. And after getting a piece there, well, no, Caria actually has Indy tied at one with Kalamazoo. 15-18 remaining in the first, second, rather. Face off, left side, Ozone. Bembers controlled into the slot to Stroh. He scores! One-timer from the top of the right circle. Kyle Stroh delivers the fuel. A 2-1 lead. The pot is just simmering right now for this fuel top line, and in moments like that, it boils over. As Carruth from the base of the, or beg pardon, Beveridge from the base of the right circle found Kyle Stroh with a couple of guys. On a stormy night in the Circle City, then with the official beer of the fuel. Indy with a 1-0 lead, back into their own defensive zone. My goodness, Kalamazoo has scored on a dump down play with no one near him behind the net. Somehow stuffing around the outstretched right toe of Matt Carruth was Dane Fox. And an opportunistic and strange start to period two sees the Wings tie this game at one. Carruth lost track of Fox, and Fox got very lucky there to scoot inside. Now out to the point, Hall, swivels left side, Gotovets fires, he scores! Kirill Gotovets high to the glove side, and the fuel lead at one to nothing. 
and afterwards, as the celebration is ongoing, go to that the rest of his teammates. They're into the left circle to defend Jamie Wise, who was jumped by Brett Ponich after the goal was scored. We'll sort that situation out at our first opportunity. What we know for certain is that Kirill Kotovets on a beautiful seeing eye riser from the top of the left circle. He's got his seventh of the year, his 13th point. And a big outlet pass ahead for the fuel, a breakaway for Lindbergh and Martin the save. No rebound on a wrister that was pinned between his right arm and his torso. And Lindbergh, another glimmering opportunity for the fuel that Martin takes right from the fuel's grasp. Brilliant outlet feed from the right corner of his own zone by Brunito. And up by Slinberg split the defense and opted for the shot, not the deke. And so Martin was able to... And from outside his offensive blue line, Garrett Bembridge sends it deep for the fuel. Joel Martin gives one away now. Far corner, Bembridge toe drags in front. Martin stacks the pads and covers up. What a stop for Martin after he fed the goaltender for Kalamazoo into the far corner. And Beveridge granted a terrible turnover from the K-Wings defense. And straight ahead on Martin. That is aggressive and veteran goaltending there. Noticing the window of opportunity and the real estate closing in front of Beveridge. He came all the way.